Morning, we are learning more uh, d more details about a convicted murderer fresh out of prison now accused of killing three more people. So Larry Reed is back behind bars in Arlington this morning, but the biggest question right now, did authorities drop the ball by releasing him? Cleo Green is with us this morning. We've got some new disturbing video, Cleo, that makes it look like authorities had plenty of reason to keep him behind bars. Yeah, Mark Kara. Now the video, it was actually captured from an illegal cell phone that Larry Reed had in prison and it was shared with WFA less than 24 hours ago. We do want to warn you this morning. It is a little hard to watch here. Now it shows Reed shirtless standing over a cellmate after beating him up. You can hear that cellmate crying out as well. He apparently live streamed that fight on Facebook. The video is from March 2021 while he was serving an 11 year sentence for murder. Investigators, they were well aware of the incident and they built a case to lengthen his sentence, but it was never pursued. Now, Reed, he had a flat discharge last December in less than 45 days. Police say he killed three people at that apartment complex in Arlington. Now, we spoke to a former Texas correctional officer who says the murders, well, they could have been prevented. It's angering um, because somehow, some way, the, the ball got dropped. I don't know. I'm almost at a loss for words. It just... To me, it just doesn't make sense. To add here, having a phone in prison is a third degree felony punishable by two to 10 years in jail. A Texas Department of Criminal Justice official told us our, told our news desk rather that the investigation never made it beyond the office of the inspector general who has yet to return our calls and we are still trying this morning. Mark? Yes, yeah, certainly a troubling story, Cleo. Thank mm -hmm. you for the update this morning.